Good morning, YouTube. I am uh, I'm just scrubbing in some new tires. Just getting the edges uh, scrubbed in. Yeah, I got some uh, got some new tires. I got some Dunlop Road Sport 2. And they're quite inexpensive, but the reviews on them are really good. So I'm hoping they'll uh, perform for me. I uh, was running the Dunlop Q3 Plus. They were amazing, but uh, a lot more expensive than this. So I thought I'd give it a whirl. I don't have a lot of bucks, so I got to do these things. Anyway, purpose of this video, shut this off, purpose of this video uh, is I installed a booster plug on this bike, this bike being the CB650F 2018, and uh, I just wanted to let you know what I thought of it. So the booster plug, in case you don't know, uh, I'll, I'll insert a picture of it here. read their information but in a nutshell what it does is it adds six percent or so more fuel across the rev range at any ambient temperature outside um, to the uh, open loop mode it doesn't add fuel to the closed loop mode and that's a pretty nice um, pretty nice design actually it's well thought out, I think, and it's simple because it's only the open, mo open loop mode that you need more fuel in normally. Eh? So open loop would be idle, acceleration and deceleration and uh, slow speed maneuvers. So uh, during those times, the bike uh, ignores the input from the oxygen sensor in your exhaust that little doohickey there and it goes by the stock fuel map it goes by the stock fuel map as uh, influenced by your air temperature sensor and it tells your bike that the temperature outside that it's sucking in is quite a bit colder and so the ECU in response gives more fuel and they've engineered it so that it gives about six percent more fuel so it attaches on this bike uh, you have to lift the tank and on top of the airbox cover you'll see a uh, small little uh, piece there with a connector on it and a wire uh, you just unclip that wire, plug the booster plug into that, then clip the other end into the other plug on the booster plug, so it's in line with that. And then there is a cable. Now, I don't know whether I'll be able to show you here, but... Okay, right? Now, can you see it? It's that little rod there that I'm touching. And that is the temperature sensor that comes with the booster plug. So you put it in a place that's going to be uh, definitely away from engine heat and radiator heat. So I put it under the headlight there. It's in the air. Now, what does it do in my experience with this bike? It, um, it gives me what I notice is better throttle response. Um, quicker, uh, stronger response when I throttle on. I, I definitely notice that. That's the the main thing I notice. So that six percent more fuel is uh, definitely doing its uh, its thing for the power. It's not crazy different. It's just uh, pleasantly different. You know, definitely adding more power. As far as slow speed maneuvers, um, I think that it's a bit smoother, less jerky, you know, with the FI throttle uh, fuel injection, you know, on, uh, on modern bikes, it's, uh, it's a little 
a little awkward at slow speeds sometimes, you know. Uh, I think it smoothed that out somewhat. So all in all, I'd say it is worth it. So let's go for a ride. Yeah, so what I notice is definitely more, more acceleration, a little quicker, a little stronger. more instant power. Gotta watch the winter sand is still on a lot of these roads. But it's getting better every day. Yeah, that would be my thought, but it just gives that um, extra edge of power. I definitely feel that. And it makes sense, you know, it's uh, got that 6% more fuel just to take the bike off the uh, lean factory setting. Well, that was a little test, and uh, it's a subjective thing. I mean, I know how the bike normally feels, and I know that that's, uh, that's better. So, it's all good. So, I think a lot of people uh, talk about the booster plug, and they kind of figure, well, yeah, it's pretty hokey, it doesn't do anything, that sort of thing, but I think they just haven't uh, haven't understood quite how it works and how it's designed. And uh, how their bike operates, for that matter, to do with the uh, air temperature. So personally, I think it's uh, well worth looking into. Certainly less expensive than a, a power commander. And because it only adds fuel to the um, to the open loop mode, it tends to solve most of the problems that uh, modern fuel injected bikes have. Because that's where you need the extra fuel. You don't need it where uh, where you're in closed loop and the. Uh, ECU is trimming your fuel. 
so what it does is it gives you the uh, benefit of more fuel where you really want it and economy where you want that so when you're just cruising along on steady throttle it doesn't add any fuel so it allows your bike to be uh, trimmed by the uh, oxygen sensor input so that you're running a little leaner there you don't need the richness on steady throttle so it's the best of both worlds I think Yeah, the bike definitely feels more, um, more alive, more aggressive. So that's about it. I think bottom line, I would recommend you look into the booster plug if, uh, if you want to improve the throttle response and add a little bit more power while retaining the economy. Yeah, if you... Uh, if you put in an aftermarket air filter, free or flow, like a KNN, I did, then the booster plug is um, a benefit there too, so that you don't lean your bike out even more than factory. You guys, you take care. If you got any questions, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, ride safe, have fun, and I'll catch you on another one. Click like and subscribe if you would, that would, that would help.